Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to add and crop your webcam for OBS Studio. First of all, we will have to add a video capture device in the sources of OBS. Name it whatever you want. A new window should pop up. If that is not the case, then right click on the new video capture device and select properties. Here on the resolution slash FPS type, you want to select custom. As you can see, more settings will be available. Now you need to understand that OBS doesn't set these settings to the best quality. That's why I'm showing you how to change them. On the resolution tab I will use 1920 by 1080. I advise you to use at least 1280 by 720. I will choose 30 FPS and as the video format I'm JPEG. This format works best for me. Maybe you should play around with it to find out what works best for you. Leave the color space and range as it is and disable buffering if your CPU can handle it. If not, then leave it at auto detect. Now your webcam or camera should be added and visible in OBS. Don't forget to layer it over your display capture or game capture in order to see it. You can do that by right clicking the video capture device, selecting order and here you can move it. If selected, you can move the camera window around in your screen capture and resize it by selecting a corner and moving it. If you hold shift by doing that, then the capture device will resize, but keep it scaling. You can also use Ctrl plus F to set it to full screen. Now in order to crop the window, you can right click it, select transform and then edit transform. As you can see, you can change all of these settings here. The crop setting works with increments of pixels. So choose 100 for 100 pixels. This will change depending on which resolution you chose on your camera. If you are unhappy with your crop, then use Ctrl plus R to reset the transformation. You can also use the Alt key to rescale the video capture device. As you can see in the video, you can rescale every site manually. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.